pros and cons CIPP pull in place and spray and brush coating what's different how it's working and what you have to expect between those pipes right now I'm showing you pull in place is the only way when you can fix it pipe like this when there's almost no pipe and you need patch and if it's on the side it's have to be spot repair pull in place different thing when you can patch actual hole spray and brush coating doesn't really work over here if it's only on the bottom we can fill it we're working with this but if it's those big pipe like here we do spot patch we do some material when you bring it in and we spot patch or we do pull in place depends on the situation where they broken and what possibility to do and when you have a system when you have a three inch branch two inch branch for the kitchen connection you have another three inch wire and another main line what's pull in place called free spot pull in place what does the free spot means it's mean liner going your main line up to here going up to here and up to here and this section of the fitting combo y wherever it is is not lined it is all is completely open and free of epoxy line and this is the problem because this fitting they have a cracks and if they have a cracks roots will go and grow in and break the pipe from inside and the roots going to be growing here and you have jackhammer digging and repair actual these fittings because they're going to be failed or collapsed over the years because this is going to be stay and they give you warranty for they work in a liner but if we're we not epoxy line we don't provide warranty for those sections and if something happened it's your responsibility but water is still present here water will still corrode it and with the pull in place what will still travel between liner and the pipe you have a gap between and water travel in and here i have an example of the pipe and i'll show you what's happened with the pipe and i have an idea just get the screwdriver and see what's happened with this pipe when water go in and where is the water travel between hypothetically all this cast iron pipe and you run the liner and you stop over here right before the branch they always live like two three inches before and what's happened if pipe has a crack and over here how you can see you have a room between liner and pipe and it's always room and when pipe has a crack and they eventually crack because water gonna be go here and water always gonna be travel before the liner between two pipe and when roots going in they easy break the pipe and they move it align it and break it the liner and nothing what you can do with that because you have a source of water coming here and working and breaking the pipe but when we do spray and brush coating then all this pipe is 100% lined and your branch is 100% liner you don't have a line it only to here from here to here and from here to another line because this is called a uh, free spot liner like they live with a free spot and people don't understood what's mean free spot but it's mean they don't touch the cast iron pipe inside and they don't line it inside as all and this is the big problem you will have in the future and eventually have to jackhammer and dig in because nothing else is going to be help and pipe collapse completely but till your pipe is at least 10 15 percent good to do the liner spray and brush coat they go all the way in and if we have to do spot repair we line it like this section inside and you have a hundred percent sealed pipe pull in place liner you will never pass water test they always failed and it's why they're not approved for the house for the city and government doesn't allow it to do pretty much because you cannot pass the test and make sure water not spill over with this spray and brush coating it's a hundred percent sealed pipe and you can pass water pressure test and we did already and we passed inspection and hold water perfectly with no question at all if you have an access you can go through the pipe and cover it completely but this branch how you see it they close and you can go and drill hole through and get water in but what's happened it's what city does city has a main line and they drill the hole for each branches which is not city responsibility it's your responsibility where is the saddle on the city and when they do this way here is always most of the roots it's right here coming in and block your drain and city doesn't want to repair because it's your responsibility on depends of the city a responsibility if you drill the hole you still have epoxy not attached to the pipe and you have a hole over here and water get between two epoxy and water and roots growing in and you stop it over here because you cannot go all the way in your liner will stop like a circle you will stop somewhere here and all this is going to be free spot 
it's a free spot from epoxy. It's mean not line it pipe is all. But if we do brush coating, I have a lot of examples different. This is what we did like a year ago. Uh, and this is the three by two. You will never able to go two inch all the way in with all turn and keep a full opening pipe and completely epoxy line here and there's no free spot is all. Pipe 100% line it and hold the pressure and hold the water and no problem is all with your pipe in the future. Harder part of the work, wherever is inversion or this, it's a descale cleaning and preparing pipe. You can watch another video where we show you difference between good job and bad job pull in place. And over here, you can look at difference between the pull in place liner and spray and brush coating liner and make your choice and decision.